Okay guys, well, I am out here to do a overnighter. I took off of work just a little early, about two o'clock, and a little after two actually, and headed out here, hiked about three miles. And I'm really excited about this one because it is cold, at least for Florida it is. It's in the mid to low 50s right now. And actually, I'm getting a little, a little cold. I'm about ready to put a jacket on. I'm uh, right now trying to figure out where I want to set up. I am going to be using a canvas tarp and two wool blankets tonight. That's how I'm going to sleep. Oh, and I'll just took off. Just missed that. So, this is the area I'm in. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can kind of see the area. Okay, I'll give you a 360, the area I'm in. We're going to have a little bit higher winds tonight, so I'm going to look for an area where I can put my tarp um, to the northeast facing southwest. To block that wind because it's going to go get into the low 40s tonight. Uh, that's what's predicted. It may get even lower. So I'm going to find a camping spot and I'll catch you guys there. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you guys my shelter really quick before it got dark on me. It's going to be dark soon. I don't have the uh, inside done yet. I'm going to get gather up uh, a whole bunch of pine needles. I brought a space blanket along that I'm going to fold over and try to get at least three inches of packed pine needles in there to help with conduction tonight. So uh, that's my shelter right there for tonight. A little uh, six by eight canvas tarp. So I will catch up with you guys later um, after I'm all ready, but uh, have a lot of work to do yet, so. Okay guys, have my fire going, my reflector wall set up, and my wool blanket and tarp and everything all set up. So it is 6.36. So I'm going to eat a little bit and then go gather a bunch more firewood. I need quite a bit more firewood. So, But i uh, got the beginning of the shelter and everything set up. So, Okay, guys. Well, I have my water boiling on the fire. I'm going to have myself a mountain house meal for dinner. Then uh, gathered a bunch of firewood and um, I'll need to still get some more. But was just relaxing in the shelter and uh, just enjoying it. So, getting hungry though. It's getting close to 8 o'clock, so I'm gonna boil this water up. It should be close to getting, should be close to boiling by now. So, it's been on there for about a minute or so. And uh, I'll have my mountain house meal and maybe a little bit of coffee. Okay, guys. Um, if I don't catch you yet on this uh, tonight yet, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys. Beef stroganoff with noodles. That's what I'm going to be eating for dinner. There's my fire in my shelter. Got a big pile of wood over there. My gear all up to one end. Got my blankets laid out. My shelter up and ready. I should be good to go. I have I should have enough firewood for you know a night here in Florida. Um, obviously that wouldn't be enough in northern woodlands, but I'd probably need about uh, four times that yet to make it through the night. But uh, that should be enough for just a small fire through the night. So <clears throat> so looking good. I'm gonna enjoy my beef stroganoff with noodles 
and uh, then we're going to chill in the uh, shelter. So I will let you guys know in the morning how the shelter slept, let you guys see it, and we can talk about the experience. So we'll see you guys later. Well, good morning, friends. As you can see, my reflector wall is gone. Um, that started smoldering during the night, and I ended up using it as firewood. <laughs> so, uh, but actually, I slept pretty well. It was uh, pretty comfortable. It was uh, warm in the shelter. Most of the night, um, had the fire going most of the time. It, it burned down quite a bit several times, but I just kind of kick it up a little bit and throw a couple more sticks on, and we were good to go. So, this uh, G. Fred Asbel uh, wool blanket uh, jacket is just really awesome. I love this thing. I need to uh, break this out into a review at some point. This thing is just uh, is incredible. You get a chance, uh, pick yourself up one. Well, I'm gonna get myself breakfast going here. It's a little bit later in the morning. I actually decided since you don't sleep straight through um, after it was after uh, sunrise after daylight I uh, kind of kicked the fire up a little bit and re uh, made myself comfortable again in the shelter and uh, kind of uh, dozed off and slept again for a little bit so um, I'm actually feeling pretty good right now so okay guys let's start breakfast Okay guys, I'm gonna enjoy a morning cup of hot chocolate. And uh, I'll show you guys the uh, shelter. Ooh, a little warm yet. Okay, I'll show you guys the shelter here. Okay, last night I was not able to show it to you very well because uh, of the fact that uh, it was just getting too dark on me. But uh, it's a 6x8 canvas tarp. It's been waxed. I have a length of paracord here with a taut line hinge, hitch, a taut line hitch, <laughs> uh, going to that uh, grommet right there. And then right here in the corner grommet, I have that going out to a stake right there. And that's how I have both sides done. On the back corner, I have the same thing. I have some paracord with a taut line hitch going to a stake. And so that's the shelter from the back. There isn't a lot of room inside. If you wanted more room, obviously, you just would need a bigger tarp. But uh, it worked out well. And down there I have the space blanket with pine needles in between the two layers, kind of as a browse blanket. I have one uh, wool blanket down the bottom, and then another one on top which I use to uh, wrap around myself so actually it was uh, even when the fire went out I was alright it wasn't uh, it was low 40s last night so it wasn't really that cold but that's cold for us here in Florida I guess so so there you go that was my shelter last night okay guys that's where I camped last night and what do you see that's right you don't see anything and that's how you should camp you should leave no trace no trace that you were ever here leave nature as you found it
Okay guys, I wanted to show you really quick before I took off the pack that I brought on this trip. Um, I brought out my Black Hawk hydration pack. I've had this pack for, I, I believe, over three years. I've actually not used it very much. It's not really uh, that good of a bushcraft pack, but I decided to bring it on this trip. You know, as you see, I have to carry my axe here and my in my bed roll down here, but because uh, there's not really any place I can attach it very easily to the side of the pack. But uh, it's it's really actually a nice pack though. It's got a hydration bladder that comes with it. I'm not sure how many cubic inches cubic inches it is, but I would guess um, probably somewhere around 1,200, maybe a little bit more. It actually stows all the gear very nicely. It's kind of a three-day assault style pack, more of a military style pack, obviously being Blackhawk. But um, I really like the pack. It has a lot of different features on it, uh, some of which I don't use. But uh, I like the extended straps here at the top that I can use for attaching a jacket or a coat if I'm not wearing it anymore. Um, it's got places to uh, molly webbing on the bottom, which you can weave straps through to, to uh, attach a bedroll. Um, has some mag pouches here on the side. Uh, one over here. I'm not sure if that's actually a mag pouch, but I'm using it as a water bottle pouch. So, And this mag pouch over here I use as the one to carry my tripod in. And I've got my Baco Laplander in a pouch back here. So, um, All in all, it's a good pack. I've spent a long time since I've used it, so I thought I would bring it out on this trip and see how it worked out for me. So, uh, it's did pretty well. Um, it's supposed to be a thousand denier nylon. Not sure if these are YKK zippers, but they probably are. Um, they don't say YKK on them though, so they, they may not be. Um, but nice buckles and everything. It's got nice strapping on the inside to strap everything down. So good pack. It's been a good trip. We're gonna head on out.